how to edit your checkout form in Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be breaking down step by step how you can edit your checkout forms in Shopify. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is log on to Shopify. And once you have logged on to your Shopify dashboard, you can edit your tools in two ways. So as you guys can see, you have two basic ways you can edit your Shopify checkout form. One is simply by going into your online store. Once you go into your online store, you can click into themes and you can begin editing your Shopify theme. Now, this is the easiest way, and that is actually the way that I recommend you guys do. However, at the end of this video, I will show you guys an alternate, which you can also use if you're looking for more customization in your checkout pages. So simply click on online store and go into your theme section, or you can even directly head on over into your navigation section to take a look at some of the pages that you have included. And you can view your online store to be able to see what your current store looks like. So if I open up my store over here and I go into the add to cart or buy now button, let's take a look at what our checkout looks like. So this is our current checkout. It's a very basic and simple checkout. Now to get started with customization of our checkout, we're going to go into our Shopify dashboard and go into the theme section. Now, once you open up your themes over here, you're going to click on customize on your active theme. Now, once you click on customize, you can go directly into the cart section. And once you go into the cart section, it will actually show you, you know, the cart that a customer is going to see. And then you can click on the top over here and you can click on checkout over here. Now, this will actually show you what the checkout is going to look like. Now, as you guys can see, once you click on your checkout, you guys will be able to see on the left, you have some of your theme settings. Now, these are some of your settings that are applicable to your entire Shopify store. However, if you want to enable block by blocks editing in your checkout, you're going to click on the first section, then you're going to go into your theme settings. And you guys can see you can't edit your sections to customize your checkout. You do have to go into your theme settings. So what I'm going to do is once you scroll down, in your theme settings, you find the global theme for your checkout. Now over here, you have banner options, logo options, positioning, content, background colors, order summaries, and everything else that you would want to customize. So to get started, click on select image and let's add a banner. So let's say I want to use this image as our banner image. I can click on done over here. Now below that, you have your logo option. I'm going to click on over here and upload our logo. So this is like our logo and banner. Now I want this to be a bit shorter. So I'm going to click on my banner image and I can just add, you know, a focal point over here and click on save like this. And we're also going to, you know, edit some of the image. So once you add your focal point, it's going to focus on that particular uh, section instead of focusing on the entire thing. Now below that you have your positioning. So where you want your logo to be positioned. Let's say I don't want a banner image. I'm going to click on change and remove image. And I just want to add my logo. And as you guys can see, our logo has been added, but I want to customize, you know, the appearance of our logo as well. So in our logo image that is going to be appearing over here. So I'm going to make sure to add this. I can change the positioning. So I want this position to maybe in the center or the right side and the logo size should be large or small. And I'm going to change this selected from my library and just click on that. And I'm going to change the size to maybe large like this. So this is our logo over here. Now on the left panel, I'm going to scroll further and you have your main content area. So if you add a image that is smaller than the main content area, it will repeat the image over and over again. Now you have a standard background color and if you just want to add some color, you can add a color like this. However, if you want more customization such as a background image, you can also do that. So to add a background image in your main content area, which is going to be the left panel over here, you can click on select image and let's say we want to use this image over here. We're going to click on done and you guys can see the image is going to repeat itself. So if you want the image to uh, encompass the entire section, choose a larger image size. However, I'm going to be using a solid color because that is what is usually used in checkout forms. So we're going to use a solid pink color like this. Now below that you have your form fields. So 
our form fields are white as you guys can see they're blocks you can also choose transparent form field now this totally depends on you and then after that you have your order summary now the order summary is present on the right side and you can choose to add a different image over here so you can click on select image and you know choose whichever image you want so let's choose this one and you guys can see the image has been added for aesthetic purposes i'm going to keep this as a solid color as well and you can edit the color to be a contrasting color so you can have two colors within your checkout form now below that you have your heading option so which types of fonts should be used in your checkout let's say i want to use pt serif so I can do that and then for the body text let's say I want to use this one over here and this is going to edit our global fonts only within the checkout page now below that you have some color options which include your colors accent colors buttons and more so our buttons are all blue so let's say I want this to be like a darker pink I can choose that from over here and then after that we have our errors section so let's say i want to keep the errors red and the accent colors to be maybe like a lighter color of blue or maybe like a dark pink now once you've added all of your global colors you guys can see you have your one page checkout option as well so you can customize that but i'm going to click on save on the top right and then i can click on one page checkout and you have two options so Obviously, this is a standard, simple checkout that we're using. However, you also have a three-page checkout, which includes information, and then people enter their shipping information, and then people add their payment information. This used to be the old-fashioned way of structuring your checkout form. So you have three pages, and you can edit those as you go. So you would have to edit each individual page. The first page would only be the information about the order and the information about the person, like that. However, I like to go with the fashion faster paced one page checkout because that is what is currently replacing most checkout forms now once you have completed your edits just click on save and you can exit and your shopify checkout page will be customized so if i view my online store over here and let's just take one item let's go into buy it now and directly we will be headed into our new customized checkout form so it's pretty nice it has some accents of your branding without being too overwhelming now, if you want to further edit your checkout form, you have applications that you can integrate. Now, I don't recommend it because it's really not necessary to check out, you know, to customize your checkout form to that extent. However, if you still want to add more details, you can click on settings on the bottom left and then scroll down and click on apps and sales channels. Click on Shopify App Store over here. And once you open up your Shopify App Store, you're going to click on the search bar and search for checkout page now once you click on your checkout page you are going to be able to see multiple different types of checkout personalization now you have after ship which is usually the simplest way to get started you have the quickify checkout customizer which is built specifically for shopify as well as be sure checkout rules which can help you in automating certain freebies and bundles so i like to use quickify checkout customizer and you guys can see they have a free plan available as well now i'm just going to click on install over here and over here you can you know add product recommendations you can add bundles and all of those different offers that can help you in boosting your sales so if you're looking to provide more value to your customers you can always use these applications as well so once you have downloaded the or installed the application or plugin you're going to click on customize checkout and you guys have multiple different options so you can customize the delivery customize the payment methods and the checkout styles and you can add multiple different actions so let's say i want to rename some methods and let's say the name contains um, shopify payments and i want to add a new name i can add that and you can add multiple different conditions over here as well so in this way you can get started with customization of your shopify checkout if you found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries leave those in the comment box down below and i will catch you guys in the next video